Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over my March empties with you guys. So this is going to include items I finished in my project to use it up as well as just the other things we finished up this month. So if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. So as per usual, we'll just crank through the project items really quick since I already went over them in my update video. Um, so first I've got Apple Blossom from Body Fantasies. This was a really pretty fruity floral scent. I would repurchase the smaller one again, probably not a big one though. And then my Sweet Petal Pound Cake Shower Gel, super pretty, I love this scent. A little Strawberry Snowflakes Mini. You guys know how much I love this scent, so this was no problem to finish up. And my Bare Vanilla Mist. Oh my gosh, such a good scent. Definitely one of like the best Victoria's Secret scents. And then my Gingham Gorgeous Scrub finished this. It was really nice. All right, so now we can move on to all the other goodies. So my husband finished up this Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Lotion. He uses these as hand creams. So he's been working on this one for a while. Finally finished it, has replaced it with my other Cocoa Radiant one. Such a good scent. I love Vaseline lotions and the cocoa butter is like the best scent they have. Then he also finished up this Care One body wash. This is like a store brand version of the Dove Sensitive Skin. Um, he really likes this. He says this is better than the Dove, which that's awesome. It's also cheaper than the Dove. So that's great. I'll keep getting these for him. Right now he's using the Target brand of the St. Ives oatmeal one which we have the St. Ives oatmeal one, so I don't know why he just didn't use that, but whatever. He's enjoying that one, he really likes it. Then he also finished up this Aveeno Therapeutic Shave Gel in the Oat and Vitamin E. This is his favorite formula at the moment for shaving product. Um, it's just soothing, it's not like irritating. He can get a close shave with it. I don't know, he really likes it. We've since repurchased this. And then I finished this Dragonfly Bath and Body Foam Bath in the pink lemonade scent. This in the bottle smells like lemonade, but like once you use it, it, <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Like the bath had no fragrance to it essentially. And also it only took like two baths to use up this entire thing. It's such a thin formula. Granted it's $1.25, so I can't really complain, but it was fun to try. It's not something I'd get again. And then also from Dollar Tree was this Bolero body wash in the watermelon and raspberry. And again, I just used this for bubble bath. Um, I, I used the entire thing in one go, cause same deal. It was really thin and almost like a watered down body wash. So it took a lot more of it to make just like any amount of bubbles. So again, not something I would repurchase. I'd rather just stick to like a Bath and Body Works or a Body Ecology. And I also managed to finish a couple fine fragrance mists that were not part of my project, which I thought was really cool. Um, so this Bare Vanilla Candied was almost gone <laughs> at the start of the month. So it just took one more use to finish it up. So pretty, just a really pretty like strawberry marshmallow kind of a scent, something I almost wish I had another one of, but I don't think they sell anymore. And then I finished this being Frenchy Cashmere Vanilla. This I used a lot as like a, a bedding mist because it's a really pretty, almost like earthier vanilla, which isn't quite my vibe. Like it was my favorite scent from the line, but ultimately it's not my favorite scent just like in the world. So I tend to use it as like a bedding mist and it just made the bedding smell really good. And then I finally finished my little island vanilla mist. This is just a two fluid ounce. I've had it kicking around for probably way too long, but I bought the new island vanilla that came out and it does not smell the same. So I panic bought two off of Amazon, uh, full sizes of this. They smell like this one. So I figured I was fine to finish this up because now I've got two big ones that smell right. We also finished two bars of soap. I think one of these is like the one that's currently in the shower, but regardless, this is our favorite kind, the Dove Sensitive Skin. We have, I think it's three more bars left and then I'll just have to restock us. Um, I don't think we'll try a different one. Like we just, we like this one. I used up a bath bomb in A Thousand Wishes. It was pretty, not the most like fragranced bath bomb. I think the Strawberry Pound Cake one is the strongest of what I've tried, but I tend to like their bath bombs when I find them on sale. They're originally like 10 bucks a pop. So definitely something to get on a sale 
or like SAS or something. I never pay full price for these. I also finished up a couple of hand creams. So this one from Ulta in Dreamy Snow. It was pretty, it was fine. Something I got in an advent calendar. So not really something I'd repurchase. And then my Vanilla Bean Noel, which was very pretty. I really enjoyed this one. And then I finally finished this Dove 0% Aluminum Shea Butter Deodorant. It takes me forever to go through deodorant. And this one technically still has stuff left, but it's at the point where like the plastic is just scraping anytime I apply it. So it's like anything that goes on is immediately like scraped off. The area is getting agitated. So it's just not worth trying to continue to use this when I could just use a fresh one and it's not gonna agitate things. So I'm considering this done. It's not at the point where I'd use it anymore. And I finished off this Collab dry shampoo. This is like their ginormous bottle. They're 8.2 ounces, 400 milliliters. I really like this dry shampoo, honestly. Um, I don't use dry shampoo a lot because I don't, I just rather would wash my hair. Um, once it gets to the point where like it's greasy, I'd rather just hop in the shower. Some days it just doesn't work out. So I have to extend it a day. And then this is the one I opt for, um, but I don't know. It takes me for, I think I had this bottle for like a year. So clearly it takes me a long time to go through them, but I finally finished this one. Then I finished a couple skincare items. So first up, I finished the e.l.f. Sun Touchable Woe Glow. You guys know this is my sunscreen of choice. It's affordable. It makes my skin nice and glowy, but it's also a sunscreen. So it's protective for my skin. I really like this. I've already repurchased. Then I finished the Bioma Moisturizing Rich Cream. This one I enjoyed. Um, the one thing I didn't like is I couldn't tell when this was getting low. So it was just one day it was gone. And I had no idea that, oh no, I need more moisturizer. So that was a bit of a downside with like the packaging because you can't like open this at all to see. So there was that. But as far as like for my skin, I liked it. Um, I bought the Pacifica Glow Baby to try out because that was just, I needed something ASAP and that was what was available. So I'm trying that one. I really like that one. I don't know if I would go back to this one or not, um, but I did like it while I used it. And then this last skincare item is the Bliss Pumpkin Powerhouse Mask. This I've had for too long. Um, it's like an exfoliating mask. I really enjoyed it, but I, again, I had it for too long. So I was just like kind of using it more frequently so that way I could finish it because the tub, it, it was just getting old. Um, I don't know if it's something I would repurchase because it was a little too exfoliating for my skin. Like the particles were just a little too abrasive. Um, and I prefer the Bliss Jelly something, Jelly Peel. The one that's in like the pink tube and you like rub it on. It's not like a, a gritty exfoliator. It's more like a chemical one. I prefer that over something like this but I enjoyed this while I had it. So then we finished up these little frosted pineapple cupcakes um, wax cubes from Better Homes and Gardens. It smells so good, oh my goodness. It was probably, again, like too soon to have like a pineapple scent in the apartment, but it's just so sweet and cakey and like a little fruity. I don't know, I really enjoyed it. It's what we have in the warmers right now. I'll probably switch it up in like a week or so. Um, we don't have them going constantly, so the wax tends to last a little bit longer for us, but I've been really enjoying this one. It's something I would pick up again once I've worked through some of the other cubes I have. And then the last item we finished up was this TheraBreath in the Mild Mint. Um, normally I wouldn't get TheraBreath because it's pretty pricey, especially for like how small the containers are. And it's two of us here, so we're both mouthwashing and then it's gone in like two weeks maybe even a week if we're both like very consistent. But this one was on sale for whatever reason. This specific one was half off at my grocery store. So I just grabbed them because I was like, why not? This is the only chance I'm gonna get. I really enjoyed this one because it's not burny. It's almost too mild. Like it's almost like you're swishing with water, but you can feel everything getting clean and fresh. Like. I really enjoyed it so far. This is my favorite. I've only tried this one and maybe the blue one though. So maybe if more of them go on sale, I can try others. But regardless, I really liked this. I would get it again if it went on sale again. All right, you guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a like and a comment below. And I will see you guys next time.
Bye.